Oxygen Therapy Consultants, Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm basically going in um, and I want to answer questions on a mass scale uh, just so people uh, may, have, may get the answer before they have to email us um, and they'll be more prepared uh, when they get to the website. Uh, because more questions will have been answered. Okay, so without any further ado, that's what I want to do. This is the Underground Cure, Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Now, the question today is: Would exercise help to to boost my immune system and help the protocol? Okay, yes, light exercise is a necessary element in keeping the body help, healthy and flushing toxins. Okay, let me read that again. Light exercise. Okay, guys, this means without perspiration. Light exercise is an important element in keeping the body healthy and flushing toxins. And basically what light exercise does is it balances out the acidity versus the alkalinity in the body. Okay, it balances out the acidity versus the alkalinity. And the reason we want to do that is because we want we do not want the acidity in the system too high starts to cause problems. Now, I want to show you a couple things. I pulled the clip um, a little, I pulled a clip of um, some things that help or that uh, light exercise does, or exercise does. Okay, I'm just gonna read those. Physical activity may help flush bacteria out of the lungs and area and airways. Okay, this may reduce your chance of getting cold, flu, or other airborne illnesses. Okay, so right away we see that physical activity helps to flush out bacteria. Okay, also exercise causes changes, okay, in antibodies and white blood cells, the body's immune system cells that fight disease. That one I want to read again. Exercise causes changes in antibodies and white blood cells. The body's immune system cells that fight disease. These antibodies or white blood cells circulate more rapidly so they can, could detect illnesses earlier than they might have before. Okay, guys, we're talking about a heightened immune system that exercise being an, an element in having. Okay, however, no one knows whether these changes help or prevent infections. Okay. Now, I'm going to say one thing about that last statement. And this is what I'm going to say. Understand, folks, that there are a lot of powers that be that regulate what we put out and what is seen. Okay? Now, I don't know who or what or what reason that that last statement was put on there, but there, it is a documented fact. It's a scientific fact that exercise helps the body to fight disease. So maybe whoever, um, whatever site I got this from or whatever, um, put that there to be safe, but they do know. A, a lot of people know. It's a scientific documented fact that when you do exercise, it releases certain chemicals and things in your body to cause your body to be in a healthier, more aware state, more uh, disease-fighting state, okay? Uh, exercise also... Um, the brief ways in the body's temperature when you're exercising and right after exercise may prevent from bacteria from growing. Okay, this, this temperature rise may help the body fight infection more effectively. Okay, this is simple, sim similar to what happens when you fight uh, or when you have a fever. Okay, so the temperature rise in the body is telling them uh, may help prevent bacteria from growing. Okay, come on guys. It's, 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 it, the answer is right here in your face. Okay? Exercise, exercise slows down the release of stress-related hormones. Okay? Now, some stress increases the chances of illness. Lower stress hormones may protect, protect against illness. Now, everybody knows that outbreaks and herpes are triggered by stress. That's one of the main factors that triggers uh, outbreaks. Okay? So, exercise helping to reduce that, okay, will reduce or decrease the chances of that happening. So, if you're somebody that right now gets outbreaks a lot, okay, 
And you know that you stress out a lot. You have a lot of anxiety. Maybe you're dealing with a lot of fear, worry, things like that. What you need to do is you need to put some type of exercise regimen into your schedule. You need to put some type of re exercise regimen into your day. And I'm going to give you a hint, hint, clue, clue. A lot of times, if you do it at the end of the day, it will help to de-stress and prepare you for a better night's sleep where you can wake up, get the sleep you need, and actually be rejuvenated, okay? But the one that I want to point out the most is the second one. Exercise causes changes in antibodies and white blood cells, the body's immune system that fights disease, okay? This is one of the elements that fights disease. So let's break it down. Flushing toxins from the body is necessary to keep the body and immune system in a heightened state, which is the only effective way to fight the virus. All right, the only way effectively to fight the virus, okay? You have to keep the immune system in a heightened state. Of the person with a compromised immune system, I hope you guys are listening. The person with a compromised immune system is automatically allowing the virus to thrive or to replicate twice as fast as that immune system can kill it. Say it again. The person with a compromised immune system is automatically allowing the virus to replicate twice as fast as the immune system can kill it. So that means for every virus strand uh, um, that the immune system kills, another one is being produced at least with the compromised immune system, okay? So listen, if you're dealing with the issues, implement some type of exercise regimen into your daily schedule. I don't care if it's 30 minutes. I don't care if it's an hour. I don't care if it's 15 minutes. Yoga, you can find yoga videos on YouTube, okay? Um, weightlifting, aerobics, step, cross exercise type stuff, kickboxing classes. Implement some type of exercise into your what's call it. Not only for the reasons of boosting the immune system, but also de-stressing yourself, okay? So, now... I know that a lot of people watch these videos and you're tired of the virus being in your body. You're absolutely fed up and you need to know what do I need to do now to fully eradicate the virus from your body because you're ready to start the race. Here are the action steps you need to take. Number one is you need to go to theundergroundcure.com. Number two is you need to sign up for the free Herpes Protocol Success webinar. Okay? Number four is you need to watch the, the welcome letter overview video. You're going to see that in the home page on step two. First step is to watch is to sign up for the webinar. Step two is to watch the welcome letter overview video. Simple enough, right? The overview video is going to lead you or tell you to complete a treatment application. That treatment application is paramount to you understanding which Protocol is the best protocol for you. I'll say that again. The overview, the overview welcome letter video is going to tell you to complete a treatment application. That's going to give you a private recommendation for the protocol kit that is best for your situation. So what does that mean? That means that you should not be calling in or sending us questions Asking us, which kit do you need? Because what we're going to tell you to do is to go watch the welcome letter overview video and complete a treatment application so that you can get a private recommendation. That's going to have a link for you to purchase the kit that was recommended for you. Okay? So people, I'm telling you, we get people all the time calling in, what kit should I need? Yeah, I watched the Welcome Letter Overview video, but I just didn't know. Well, if you watched the Welcome Letter Overview video, did you complete a treatment application? Okay. Did you get your private recommendation? If so, did you read it? 
Guys, read your recommendation. Do not leave that page without reading your recommendation. Print it. Save it. Screen capture it. Do something to save that recommendation. Okay? Now, how can you support the movement? This is how you can support the movement. Number one is hit the subscribe button right above our video or below. Okay? Number two is you can leave a positive comment. We don't accept any negative any negative comments or any negative energy, positive, positivity only. Like your mom said, if you don't have anything nice to say, please don't say it at all on our page. Okay. Last but not least, you can share our video. Share it on the social forum. Share it on social media. Get the link below and share it. We also ask that the, one of the bigger ways that you can share our video is that you can actually download this video and repost it on your own page. Okay? Now, if you download this video and you repost it, we ask that you keep the same title and the same description that we have. Okay, The same title and the same description that we have. Okay. Last but not least, you can follow us on Facebook at The Underground Cure. If you've got any questions, you can reach us at undergroundcure at gmail.com. You can send in your questions and we'll be happy to answer them. You can also visit the website at The undergroundcure.com. With that, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you missed any of that information, uh, information is right below this video uh, in the description. And with that, I'm Obasi Scott. This is the Underground Cure. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you completely happy, healed, and set free. Talk to you soon.